Sticking to the script for the most part, Donald Trump has officially accepted his party's nomination. And this morning, his campaign begins to the fight to November's general election. Our national correspondent, Mark Meredith, was on the convention floor for Trump's primetime speech and joins us now live inside the Quicken Loans Arena, where, Mark, the cleanup is underway. Kim, good morning to you. What a difference just a few hours can make. Just a little while ago, tens of thousands of people were all focused on what's happening on the main stage. Now the stage is barely standing. But if you were up late last night, you know Donald Trump accepted his party's nomination and gave a speech, a lengthy one, an hour and 16 minutes in length to be exact, where he touched on a number of different topics that are going to have a big impact on November's general election. Trump doubling down when it comes to homeland security, terrorism both here at home and abroad and have, of course that controversial plan to ban muslims from entering the united states donald trump appealed to a national audience but also republicans here in the convention hall i had a chance to speak with a few of them after the speech wanting to know what they'll feel like going forward after cleveland I thought both Governor Pence and Donald Trump hit it out of the park. I think they've got the right message. We've got to keep this country safe. They're going to do that. The speech was good. It was a little long, but, you know, he made all of his, all of his good points, and I thought it went well. It wouldn't be a convention if we didn't see, of course, the confetti, the balloons falling, and the candidates with their families out on the main stage together. How long will this image of a, uh, well, a party together last? We're going to have to wait to find out, Kim. After all, there are going to be polls taken. Will there be a bump for Donald Trump, or will he still continue to trail Hillary Clinton? Not just, not in Georgia, where, of course, he leads, but across the country, Kim. There will be plenty to talk about, though, in the next coming days, with the Democrats having their convention in Philadelphia on Monday. Now, Mark, you've been at the convention all week long speaking with delegates. This morning, do you get the sense that they're leaving Cleveland more united than they were when things started Monday? Kim, I'd say that there's more of a sense of relief because when, of course, they were preparing for Cleveland, nobody knew what to expect. Would there be mass protests? Would there be a floor fight here on the convention? It was not the case at all. The city of Cleveland rolled out the red carpet. Security was tight, but things went well. As for there were some moments, some stumbles during the uh, the main events this week, but that happened on stage with certain speakers. Unity feels like that will happen for the next few days. Maybe it all depends on Hillary Clinton picks for her running mate. We're just going to have to wait to find out, Kim. Okay, thank you very much, Mark. Uh, shifting gears a little bit, let's take a live look at our Safe to Savannah cam. Sunbeam.